my earth sign Taurus. What is up? What is good with y'all? Welcome and welcome back y'all to my channel. Thank you guys so, so, so much for clicking on this video. It has been a few days. Okay. I'm so sorry. I haven't been posting for you guys. I've been so busy doing other readings. Oh my gosh. But I try not to forget about you guys. So I'm going to be getting into the read for December 2022. Take whatever resonates and lead the rest for another Taurus, okay? If it doesn't apply, let it fly. If it's not your story, do not make it fit. If it doesn't stick to your story, leave the rest for another Taurus, okay? Um, keep in mind that this is for the collective, you guys. This is not going to be gender specific or for a specific group of people or a person so if you guys want to book a private personal reading with me if you're interested in that my email is in the description box down below everything about me and how i got here to this spiritual journey is in the description box down below okay if you need to ask me more questions i do have a q a coming up so you guys feel free to Ask your questions. Alright. <clears throat> Let's get into this energy. And see what spirit has for you. Whatever shows up is what I'm going to take. Okay. Take it how it resonates. All readers read differently. This is going to apply differently for everyone. It says main lady. They have chosen no interference. Focused on one person. So you may be the wife or there's a wife here. Someone's married. Let's see. What else do you have for Taurus? Spirit, guys, if you hear the dog barking, I'm so sorry, y'all. Oh, okay. So this main lady who is a wife um, is an ex, okay? This person is cursed. So it says string of bad relationships, karmic cycle. Yeah, you're giving this person the evil eye. Okay, so they're cursed by spirit, okay? And I feel like this person is planning their next move. It says strategy. It says being clever, leaving nothing to chance. So I feel like they can't hold back from you anymore. They're going to try to come towards you and attempt a reconciliation. They want to work things out. They will return. Yeah, they feel like there's some unfinished business. They're not over you. Okay, because I feel like this person is overthinking a lot, creating scenarios in their head. They may be thinking that you're with another person or sleeping with someone else. And they're really thinking about you a lot, okay? They're in their head. They think about you constantly. They think about reconciling with you. Let's see. What else do you have for Taurus in love? What else do you have for Taurus in love? What do you have for Taurus in love? What do you have for Taurus? This person wants their freedom or this is you. One more. Thank you, Spirit. Y'all know I love jumpers, okay? <laughs> so, they're overthinking on how they're going to make something up to you. It says extravagant gestures. Gestures from the heart, walking the talk. So, they want to make something up to you, okay? And they're overthinking how they can do this. Because this love... Needs time to grow. I feel like when you guys were together, this love needed time to grow. Okay, it needed to grow with time. But I feel like there's some unexpected lessons in love that this person is learning here. Or well, this is you. Take, take it how it resonates. Okay, but I felt like somebody was friend zoned here. It says friendship, friendship before love. Yeah, so I feel like you like to take things slow. You like to build trust and a stable foundation with someone before you actually get into a connection with them. Okay, but I feel like, you know, you may have friend zoned this person and it's because you guys want your freedom. You're not wanting to commit to, to this person. You know, I feel like they didn't want to commit to you. They're married. Somebody's married here. Okay, and I feel like you're just happier... That's confirmation. I feel like you're just happier being single. 
Okay, because this person's definitely a player. It says playing the field, refusing to commit. Yeah. I feel like, yeah, when they were with you, they may have friend zoned you because they wanted their freedom and they were just playing the field with you. Now they want to bring in this love offer. This is somebody you're separated from. I feel like you withdrew your energy from this person. Yeah, this person... <laughs> this person wants you to chase them. I feel like they're very overprotective. That card fell on the floor. It says love offer, sincere offer of love, romantic gift, expression of love. Then it says separation, withdrawal, disconnect, test of love, relationship breakdown. Then it says chaser, low self-esteem, validation of self-worth, abandonment issues. Then at the bottom of the deck, you have regret, feeling guilty, remorseful, wanting to undo the damage. So this person is wanting to undo the damage that they have caused. Okay, I feel like they wanted you to chase them and that's why you pulled your energy away from this person and there was a withdrawal. I feel like you two, um, for some of you guys, you may be separated. They want to bring this love offer in, okay, towards you. So that's coming your way. This applies very differently to everybody. This is going to be very differently. So take what applies, apply to where it needs to go. And take whatever resonates and leave the rest for another Taurus. Yeah. I feel like you're this person's addiction. I feel like they have some uh, addictions to sex, drugs, alcohol. Or they just have some very destructive behavior. I feel like they're not going to change their behavior. Or their addiction. You're not budging. You both are showing up very stubborn. You're not working together well. You're not seeing eye to eye. You're both standing your ground here. Because you deserve respect. You demand it. Okay, so let's get into some tarot and see what's over there for you guys. Remember, I'm reading from five different decks. So... Take the parts that do resonate with you and leave the rest. If it does not apply, let it fly. And if you do leave a comment, I really would appreciate that. Please keep your low vibrational comments to yourself. If you have nothing nice to say, do not say nothing nice at all or I will block you. Thank you so very much. The chariot at the bottom of the deck, Cancer Energy. So you guys may be moving, relocating to a different city, state, country, or another town. You're changing homes here. I see success and victory for you. You overcoming obstacles. Okay, but I do see this person wanting to come towards you. They want attention. They want your respect. They want recognition. They want to prove their love. They want success and victory with you. This person is uh, maybe a Leo. Or they have fire in their chart. But this person is an attention whore. And I feel like you're ignoring them. Two of swords. Libra energy. Or this is someone doing this to you. I feel like someone is torn between two relationships. They need to make a difficult decision. They're sitting on the fence about it. Because you're showing up as very guarded. Nine of Wands. Yeah, you don't trust this person. You're, you're protecting your energy. This person drained you of your energy. I'm sorry about that, guys. I got a phone call. So this person may try to call you. But I feel like they bruise you. They bruise you so much you don't trust them. So like you have to be very guarded. Have your guard up and your walls up. Yeah, Sagittarius energy. Something just fell. Give me a second. Ah, that's why. Hold on. And what was this that fell? Uh, I hate when these cards fall. This is just temporary. So my setup is going to be very differently soon. Okay, but protection is in the reverse. Yeah, so you need protection from them. Because they have some very destructive behavior. Nine of Pentacles uh, fell out in the reverse. This person 
is very reckless. They have a lack of independence, so they really don't um, take care of their business. They really don't have money. They have a lack of stability, so they can't maintain a household for very long. This person is shady. This person, be careful for a Taurus, uh, a, a, um, a fellow Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or someone with Earth highly aspected in their chart coming towards you for money. Okay, this person, I'm feeling gold digger vibes. This person is very codependent on you. Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. They still want you. They want you. But again, you don't trust them. There's a very sneaky energy about them. There's something about them you don't trust. I feel like you run away from this person. This person is a liar. They're very deceitful, trickery. They're a cheater. They're a thief. They feel like they can outsmart everybody and get away with Whatever it is that they that they was trying to do behind your back or whoever's back. I feel like they're willing to sneak away from someone to come towards you. Aquarius energy. Yeah, see, six of swords. My children are returning home from school, you guys. Yeah. This is somebody that moved out of the house. You two may have lived together, so they did something behind your back. In the past, and I feel like, yeah, they moved out of the home at a distance from you. Yeah, death. I feel like because, yeah, they changed. They changed. And I feel like you guys are going through or you went through a spiritual transformation. This is you letting go. This is an ending to a brand new beginning. This happened all of a sudden. Yeah, this was unexpected to them. Yeah, that you walked away. So your cutoff game is very strong here. I feel like you're maintaining control. You're a boss, an entrepreneur. You may be dealing with the Pisces or Aries. Yeah, because they were just too toxic. Capricorn energy. They have an addiction to sex, drugs, or cheating, lying. They may have been in a full-blown relationship somewhere else. They may be abusive or very violent. This person, you may have had to call the authorities on them with the emperor and with the devil here. This person may have assaulted you before. You know, I feel like this person is very immature. What else do you have for a Taurus? What else is coming towards Taurus? Yeah, this person brings in a lot of confusion. I feel like they also had their options open and were treating you as an option. And this person... Yeah, they just caused so much confusion, so much toxicity, drama. This person feels tied, chained, and bound to you. They fantasize about you. They um, fantasize about how... You know, life could have been if you two were together. Um, wishful thinking. You know, but their energy is very, very fickle in and out. Hot and cold here. Okay. But I feel like they're coming towards you hot and heavy. Sagittarius energy. Yeah, you're holding back. Leo energy with the strength card. Yeah, you're gathering up your inner strength here. Because you know the truth about this person. Ace of Swords. That they're very tricky, manipulative. All right. I feel like they want to talk to you. I feel like they're going to try to use the gift of gab to probably get some money out of you. Let's see. Why is the magician here? Yeah, see, the lovers, they're in love with you, but it may be three people involved here. Hold on. Why is the lovers here? This person wants to manifest you back into their life. They're in love with you. <sighs> yeah, but you cut them off. You're very serious about this decision that you made. This is a head over heart decision. Queen of Swords. 
Yeah, you're cutting off people, places, and things that no longer serve your highest good. And they're mad. Five of Wands. Leo energy, they're very mad because you left them out in the cold. Maybe put them out. They're homeless, don't have anything. They don't have any money. Okay, they feel like they're cursed. They feel like they have bad luck. But they feel abandoned and neglected by you. Or this is how you feel towards someone. I feel like... um there may have been some communication. You guys got into an argument. <clears throat> it could be because this person's finances is not all that great. They're struggling here. This is somebody you have history with. The Six of Cups. This is somebody you may have a child or children with. This situation needs healing. But I feel like uh, they have hope and faith that you too can heal things, mend things, work things out. And they want to come towards you with some sort of... Love offer, Knight of Cups. This person may be at a distance from you, Three of Wands. But I feel like a lot about this person was exposed. Yeah, with the Sun card, how they were stringing you along. Temperance card. Now they want to work on things with you. Maybe move back in and reconcile. Four of Wands, Three of Cups. This person sees you as their soulmate, as their twin flame. But um, you're holding back. Page of Swords. You're holding back on communicating with them. You don't really want to talk to them. Because you invested so much time, money, and energy into this person. And they betrayed you like that. Ten of Swords. Gemini energy. They may have been betraying you while you were working really hard at work. I feel like, you know, you brushed this Reading off. keeps being interrupted. So, I feel like this person is not going away. <laughs> I feel like... Um, you're working on a project right now. You're working really hard, throwing yourself into your work. You're building a business for yourself, a reputation. You're mastering your craft here, okay? And there's good news coming in for you because of that. I feel like they're going to message you. Yeah. There's good news coming in for someone's mom. Well, they're just going to message you because you're very nurturing, very loving, very caring. You're very abundant, very stable. <laughs> they're not trying to leave you alone yeah you're feeling smug by them they may be heavy set real tall or this is you but I feel like yeah they see you as their wish fulfillment <laughs> oh my gosh okay let's check out some messages from the love oracle <laughs> they're not trying to go away I'm hearing that song by Sierra, I Can't Leave Him Alone. So I feel like this person likes that song. You're more focused on your work, your spiritual gifts here. There's good news coming in in terms to work. There's a surprise coming in in terms to work or school. You may be in college. I'm seeing you getting a lot of gifts for your work. I'm also seeing you working on your spiritual gifts as well. There may be an opening at work. You may be, um, you may have started a business here and you're having an opening, like a grand opening or something like that. Yeah, this looks like a grand opening. But I feel like there's new opportunities here for you. The doors are opening and old doors are permanently closed. Okay, someone's receiving some sort of karma, you know. Someone is married or in a serious relationship. I feel like you and this person whom you had a toxic story with is married. Or you two were in a union. Hmm. Yeah. Let's see what else is coming in for Taurus. Male or female. Yep. A blonde female. Okay, so this may be a blonde female or someone who likes to wear blonde hair, different color wigs, different color hair. I feel like you are laid back right now. You're laid back. And there's a past lover in here. I feel like you're leaving this person in the past because you cut them off. And you're focused on your career, your work. 
there's some blockages and obstacles maybe at work or you're looking for a different pathway or there's some delays here but I feel like you're not interested in moving forward with this person. I feel like with these obstacles, you're taking this time or you need to take this time to take a step back and analyze what these obstacles are, what these blockages uh, are or were in you guys' connection. Okay, yeah, this person is at a long distance from you. So I feel like you guys had a long distance connection, a long distance relationship. Or you had to distance yourself from this person because of the obstacles and the blockages. Yeah, this was a twin flame connection, a karmic to be exact. Okay, you may have started a family with this person. You may have children with them or they have a family elsewhere. Yeah, there may be a third party situation, a love triangle here. Okay. You may be a, a, a fair, a, a light a light male, a fair male, or a, a young male. Okay, yeah, this person was trying to control you. There's a family member here that's always trying to make you choose between two people. It could be family members. Okay, this also represents some family because a family card is here, triangle is here, and control is here. So there's a family member who maybe this person is making you choose between them and another family member. It's because this person is trying to control you. This person feels like they can control anybody, technically. But I feel like you're releasing that. You're taking back control because this situation has lost control here. And this third party, whoever this third party is, they're being controlled by their person pretty badly. Pretty, pretty badly. A pretty bad penny, okay? Like a melted penny, smashed. Okay. Yeah. See, their person is cheating on them and everything. Hmm. <laughs> and you freed yourself from that. You dodged a bullet, I'm saying. Maybe some of you wish you never had a child with this person. But you love the child, but you know... Because there is a child here that needs help. I've seen the Page of Pentacles. There was a child that needs help. There could be a couple of kids here with the Six of Cups too. Let me go back. There may be a toxic father or a father figure here too. Who thinks... Um, <clears throat> They can control people. This person may have a mental health issue. They're hallucinating or delusional. Seven of Cups. I feel like this person causes a lot of confusion. This is somebody's father. Okay. Yeah. This person is trying to manifest you. For some of you, there is a third party here. They want to divorce this person, but they know this person is like a bully, very abusive, chaotic, defensive. They always arguing with them. A lot of people involved here. But this is y'all. This person, <clears throat> this person may be getting kicked out of their house with their kids. What? Or this person put the, a kid out the house, kicked the child out or something like that. What? <clears throat> yeah. You're waiting to expose them. That's what I'm getting with the three of wands in the sun. You're wanting to expose them so you can get some sort of healing here. But you're waiting for this. Yeah, you're working on something. Maybe getting a new home. Yeah. I feel like you're going to get it because you've been doing a lot of research, a lot of traveling, making a lot of investments. Could be applications. Okay, a lot of applications didn't go through for some of you. 
But I feel like you're working really hard on this and eventually good news is going to come in for you. You're going to get pretty emotional. Okay, because this is something that's going to be stable. I feel like this is something that's going to allow you to focus on your career, your work, your money, your creativity. You may be working on this project with your mother for some of you or for someone out there that is very specific. And I feel like a wish is coming true. Yeah, something good is happening for you at the end of the day. And this person who's married cannot let you go. And if you're married to them, I feel like this is the energy that's coming in. Even though you've ended things with them, they are not trying to let you go. They're not trying to leave. They're not trying to move on. And for some of you, it may be a third party situation because the Three of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. But I feel like they don't want to be in that situation. Because they feel like they're in a mental prison of their own thoughts here. They're cluttered with thoughts. So this person, they don't like their connection. They feel like they've been cursed. They feel like God has cursed me. That's what they feel like. They feel like God has cursed them. That's what they say to themselves. I'm cursed. I believe somebody put a curse on me. Like, yeah, you. it is show is. Because of your sneaky behavior, sir, ma'am, whoever you are, your sneaky behavior has got is is caught up with you. Your games, your lies, your tricks, hurting people, is is caught up with you, sir, ma'am, woman, lady. <laughs> Ask your friends for help. Ask your friends to help you. I feel like <clears throat> you guys need to ask your spirit guides for help, okay, or advice, or assistance, or or strength here, because I feel like you're showing that. You're showing your strength, your power, your courage, okay, but don't be afraid to ask for accept or accept support from others, and I could just be talking about your spirit guides. I see you guys loving yourself first, putting yourself first, and that self-respect is making you more romantically attractive because you trust and have faith that this situation will heal. It says this situation is calling for you to have faith. Yeah, so I feel like you trust your spirit guides right now. And I feel like you're making that effort. You're taking the steps that are needed to take in love. Okay, there is someone that you've met. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. A soulmate coming in. I see you traveling towards this person before, on, or around the holiday times. I see a lot of playfulness here. Okay, a spark. New love. This is someone new. It is safe for you to love this person. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all, which is love. Okay. So, open up your heart, you guys. Yeah, there was an unrequited love here. It says there's not enough relation, there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. But someone feels like you're worth waiting for. This person is trying to learn how to let go of control issues. I feel like you have let go of control issues. This person is married. It says wedding. This situation involves marriage. But you have a chemistry with someone new. Someone else. Okay. I feel like you're starting to develop romantic feelings for this new love. I feel like this new love is going to become very addicted to you, okay? And someone is very codependent upon you. could be for finances. I feel like you two are going to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation, you and this new love, and discuss your feelings with each other honestly and openly. And I feel like with this person that's codependent on you, you have spoken to them. You have told them open and honestly what, what it is that you want. You expressed your love to them, and that was you telling them that you... You need, you're going to release them. Express your love. I feel like you're letting someone know how you feel or they're telling you 
This ex hasn't let you go. Release your ex. Time has come to clear your energy. You two are separated. Or you're going to be. They haven't learned their lesson, but they want a second chance with you. This is happening very soon or, it's, or already happened. Yeah, you've known each other before. But I feel like you've pulled your energy away from this person because of the lies, the deception. They weren't being their true authentic self. And so you've gone on and met somebody new and now you're bonding with this person. Because you deserve love. But this past love is not letting up. They're refusing to let you go, Taurus. They feel like you're someone that's worth waiting for. They feel like eventually, if they wait long enough, that you'll give them another chance. <laughs> they may be waiting till their death, okay? Period. So, you guys, I hope you had some clarity out of that reading. I hope you got the clarity you were seeking. Okay, I hope you like this reading. And if you did, um, and if you want to see me do more readings like this, and if you also would like to see your bonus reading, don't forget to like this video up if you have not already. Subscribe to the channel. Turn your post notifications on to ALL so you know every time I drop a new video and you won't miss out. I love you guys so, so, so much. Thank you so much for coming back. Make sure you guys hit that like button. It helps me out and it helps the channel out as well. I love you guys so, so much. Until next time, bye Taurus. I'll see y'all in the next reading.